So, nach dieser kurzen Pause sind wir auch schon wieder live äh, für euch auf der Uhr Stage. Auch so, nach dieser kurzen Pause. After this short break, we're live again. For you on R3S, this talk will once again be translated by our C3 Lingo Angels. So, und für die für euch, die am Stream sind, ihr wartet sicherlich schon auf die Show, ihr wisst, worum es geht, deswegen halte ich mich nicht lang mit einer Vorrede auf. Unser For those of you in the stream, I'm sure you're waiting for the talk. So here we go. I'll to talk this time. So everybody, whether they get up early or late, can take part. This time I want to take a look at crystals. I will first unpack this set. I already prepared some things, as you can see here, in order to increase the likelihood that this will go well. I will unpack. It obviously comes with a manual. A seal and a ice bear form. Kind of fitting to our sharks here. Here we have a petri dish. And here are the old petri dish from a previous set. I already took out the crystals because we will need them later. A measuring cup. And five bags natrium acetide. Basically, not to be confused with NaCl, which you might know as cooking salt at home. Please don't use natrium acetate, it's not going to be very tasty. I have a stirring utensil. And something to pour the liquid into the forms. In diesem Herz ist eigentlich nichts anderes drin als äh, eine gelöste, äh, eine gelöste manual eine gesättigte Lösung actually describes this heart. It contains nothing different than a saturated solution of natrium acetate, which will cause this heart to heat up. If you, if you find this, if you break this crystal in this metal plate, so we're going to try to follow this concept here. If this experiment should not work as planned, the mouse show has a very nice episode regarding this. There's a part for parents, hints for parents, luckily I don't need those. Some other helpful information and obviously basic rules for safe experimentation. I've done that a lot in recent days, so I know how to do that. On the back, we have the experiments, the very nice depiction of the hand warmer I showed earlier. We're going to start from the beginning. I will do this experiment slightly differently, because these experiments are based upon one another and I already did the first one slightly differently than explained here. I'll use different amounts of water. 
und kocht gerade so ein bisschen für sich hin. I already prepared a 10 milliliter solution before the start of this show. Schon mal raufstellen It is sollte. cooking slightly at the moment. Um, And because I will need it for also, this experiment, I'll leave it in here for now. Ein Messbecher. It crystallizes very quickly. The first step here is that you should take one measuring cup, which I'm going to fill with five milliliters of distilled water. As you can see, I experiment a lot. Susi in das beschriebene Marmeladenglas, da ich nicht so viel Marmelade die letzten Tage gegessen habe, nehme ich diese schönen kleinen Behälter. Oh, poor, five milliliters of water. Optimal dafür. And other than described in this manual, since I didn't eat a lot of jam recently, I'm going to use a different cup. I'll pour in one bag, which says only to use it with the manual. I'll pour the first one. Auch hier fehlt mir Anleitung, dass ich gleich Kristalle brauche, also davon abheben soll und sie in die Petrischale tun. Here, manual is missing that I should remove the crystals and put them in a petri dish. Deswegen öffne ich gerade meine Petrischale. Now the package is empty. Hier die zwei größten raus. Das Kristall selbst ist eher so Zucker. Therefore, I'm going to open my Petri dish, take out the two biggest ones. The crystals themselves are rather like sugar, which you might know from normal household sugar. And the first experiment you want to pour these 30 grams together with about 10 milliliters of water. It is not solving as well as you might expect. Slightly similar to the effect you get when pouring ice cubes or crushed ice into water during the first five minutes. Now you put it in pot and heat it up a bit. And since I want to try experiment number two, I can take out this 10 milliliter cup because I have prepared some things for the show. The solution has already cooled down slightly. If your room temperature is slightly colder, You can also use it to generate either heat or cold. Oh, someone will let me know if it starts to crystallize. I've come prepared. There are a lot of experiments in here. So I would like to start with experiment number four to try to prepare this crystal animal. Kippe ich vorsichtig hier rein. I'll pour this carefully. Ich gucke, das ist ein bisschen voll geworden. Ja, das hält da nicht drin. And take care, this is a bit too full for my liking. Lass ich das auch abkühlen und man sieht sofort, es bilden sich hier Kristalle. And then, I'll let this cool down. You can see that it's already starting to form crystals on the surface. It is not very easy to see. We can already see some skin forming. And when sich das jetzt ein bisschen abkühlt, müsste es gleich anfangen zu kristallisieren und wenn ich gleich an dieser Starterkristalle rein tue, wird das And once this has cooled down a bit, ich habe jetzt mal die Experimente vorbereitet. It should crystallize. Gehen wir mal zu inhaltlichen. Ich soll auch ein bisschen. And when I put one of the starter crystals in here, 
it should crystallize completely. Now let's come to the topic, the content, because I want to educate a bit. This is a natrium atom, two hydrogen and two oxygen atoms. Und das Natrium sich dazu verbindet. Das hat dann was mit der positiven und negativen Ladung der Atome zu tun. Dieses Salz ist ein farblos, leicht nach Essig riechendes Salz, was sehr gut im Wasser löslich ist. Man hat es gerade gesehen, wenn man hier umrührt, es löst sich. This is a colorless, slightly, like, slightly smelling like salt. 58 Grad, das ist ungefähr Solution. die Temperatur des Wassers. This is slowly dissolving right now. Ist das der Schmelzpunkt und das heißt eigentlich nur, ähm, This is it. 85 degrees right now, which is about the temperature in the, of the water in this pot. Which means that from that point on, natrium acetate will solve in water. This is a trihydrate, which has a special Property that it's not going to. And but she is still liquid. She crystallizes not again. That is not going to become fully liquid again. It is very completely, completely saturated solution. And only if you add. A starter crystal. You might be able to get it to fully crystallize, and if you add some water, you can get it back to liquid. If you want to take a look into your microwave meals at home, you might find E226A, which is a stabilizer. Often you're going to find this in baked goods or puddings in order to prevent it from collapsing into itself. Jellies, similar creamy liquids, which might, if you want to cook it at home, after one week or so of storing it, it is going to collapse down into itself. Which the industry obviously does not want. They want it to be conserved well. It is used in cosmetics as well to cover bad breath. If you add natrium acetate to cosmetics, you're going to be able to cover certain smells. Wir probieren das einfach mal, ob das funktioniert mit dem Starterkristall. I hope this cooled down a little bit. We're just going to try if it works with the starter crystal. Nee, es ist noch ein bisschen zu warm. Und man sieht, wenn ich einmal nicht mit Handschuhen arbeite, hat man es. It is still slightly too warm. Also werde ich natürlich gründlich nach diesem Vortrag. You can see as soon as I don't wear gloves, it sticks to my fingers. So obviously after this talk I'm going to thoroughly wash my hands. I'll take this out to have it start cooling down. You can see that the rest from the previous experiment is no longer clear. At least it's obvious to me. I'm not sure if it's obvious to the audience. Yeah. Here I will need to stir a little bit more. In order to have it stall and dilute completely. It takes a little bit of time. Maybe there are some questions already? From the audience? On the other side of the camera. Frage gab es zwischendurch, nämlich wie ist denn unser Erklärer eigentlich zum Erklären gekommen? 
Yes, we have one question. That is, how did our explaining shark get to do what it's doing? I always liked to watch shows like Mouse Show and other children's explainer shows. I like the idea of transferring knowledge. We had a very nice talk this morning. And the same applies in the analog and digital life equally. Things like uh, interesting knowledge as to how these pocket warmers work and why shouldn't everybody know how this works and experiment about, uh, with this. Use simple language to transfer the knowledge that I learned during my studies. Now it's very well, uh, very easy to see on the camera how this is starting to crystallize. You can see that it's forming sharp crystals. Not very soft crystals like you would see on a, like you would see on a snowflake, as you might have drawn one as a kid. These are much sharper than that. I'll add a few more starter cultures to this. And now you can see that when I touch it, it is already starting to get hard. I can push it downwards. In the meantime, I put on some gloves. Wie sagte man so schön? Das ist die Zähne. Ich guck mal, ob das hier. Ich mal reite nebenbei. Nehme ich hier mal die Lösung für Versuch 2. I'll prepare a solution for experiment number two on the side, which you hopefully can see. Nachdem ich nächstes letztes Mal sehr viel Feedback hier von dem anwesenden Team, bei dem ich mich bedanken möchte, übrigens, die machen das hier toll. After last time, I got a lot of feedback from the team on stage, who I want to thank a lot for their help. I'll use that. The non-liquid crystal I will touch with my hands because it easily, it's easily removed, similar to sugar. You can see that it immediately starts to crystallize. Problem ist, ich versuche das gerade mal zu kippen, dass man es vielleicht sieht. Man sieht, dass sich darauf was schwimmen. Das the issue ist is that I'll try to das ist try down slightly. You can see that something is swimming in here. There's these crystalline structures, which you can see. In diesem Anleitung steht fünf bis Drei bis fünf Kristalle. I might have to add a little bit more. Das ist mal mehr, mal weniger. The manual says man three to five crystals. Oh, ja, man mm -hmm. sieht's. Which can man be so more or, or less, depending on size. Oh, now you can see it very well. This is what the crystalline structure is going to look like. And you can tell that it heats up. The liquid has cooled down properly, but when I add these crystals, it heats up. It's the same concept as with this heart-shaped hand warmer. Before adding the crystal, it is very cold, but as soon as I add the crystal, by pushing on this metal plate, 
Just like adding the crystal in this experiment, you can see the same reaction in here. It is slowly spreading, just like in this test tube. Sorry. Obviously, in this case, it is slightly more optimized than my self-made version. It's giving off heat and gets warm. At some point, it turns off and then goes cold again. We have a hint for the chat. You can ask questions right now. We have a signal angel who will relay the questions live. Sorry for coughing earlier. The crystals are still soluble. And here you can see that it's uh, forming a surface layer slowly. And this is also growing noticeably warmer. Now I don't want to push into it with my finger because it's warm. We can do that again because we want a, an ice bear as well. So I hope we can repeat that process. This is lukewarm. I would say maybe 30 degrees. I'll pour this liquid into here, into the form. It should cool down now. I will check on my solution. It is slowly dissolving. And here sieht man jetzt, es ist immer noch sehr weich. Aber man kann das vermutlich nicht sehr gut auf der Kamera erkennen, aber es hat auch dieselbe You can see this is still relatively soft. It might not be very easy to see on the camera, but it has the same crystalline structure. And as long as you knead it and keep it liquid, it stays warm for longer. If you do less of that, it is going to grow colder quicker and the salt solution will grow solid again and you might want to heat it. Uh, you have to heat it over 60 degrees again to have it go solid so it can be reused. Also it says on the package that it gives off a maximum of 55 degrees because after that it goes solid again. Liquid again. But in this case, it also worked if you put in a metal starter, or does it have to be crystal? This metal plate contains starter crystals, similar to those I prepared in this Petri dish. So in this case, the metal is only a storage for these crystals in order to protect it to not start the reaction. Now that I've poured it out, you can see that you can also see a small crust on here. As soon as the liquid is gone, it starts to crystallize immediately. Here you can see that it's already formed a sort of surface plate. This here wird auch immer härter die Oberfläche. Und wenn ich das in Ruhe stehen lassen würde, this is also getting harder by the minute. I'll leave it here undisturbed, even though it's very fun to play with it. It would crystallize. Even with the ice bear, you will see that it's crystallizing. Tomorrow, in my final talk, I will show all my previous experiments. And I also prepared something else 
to cover the meantime while we wait for it to harden. Let's see if this is more flexible than the other one. Yeah, it is flexible. Man kann ihn ein bisschen ziehen. Während yes, this is flexible. You can pull on it a little bit. All the other ring was a lot wider. This just took about one night to get ready. Ich probiere es einfach mal ein bisschen mehr, Starterkristalle. Viel hilft viel, sagte man. I'll try adding some more starting crystals. Aber es hat immer noch eine sehr Manual said four. Wenn wir mal vergleichen mit dem professionellen. Ja, sie sind ungefähr gleich warm. Well, this still has a also, very nice temperature. Yes, compared to a professional hand warmer, they're almost the same temperature. So you can either make a hand warmer yourself or buy a ready-made one. If you manage to create a soft plastic cover and which is slightly which is which is sealed well and you might also be able to make something like this at home i do not have the necessary machinery for that here you can see there are already hard crystals on the surface are there further questions we have one more question from yesterday Vermutlich nicht, weil dann wäre das eine Question was whether you could have wie bei diesem schönen prepared the colors nicht so schichtweise passiert, wie man das on the item itself. Probably not, because you wouldn't have had the same kind of layer colorization as we have here. It might look more like a black and white signal noise. So you might not have that nice pattern that you can see here. If you prepare it on paper, you won't know where the colors are going to go. If in the next time you want to do something like this, feel free to tweet at us. But this needs to be layered to achieve this effect. There's another question that we just received. How do the crystals stay in the metal plate? Here I would like to refer to the mouse show. It's a scene I don't have. Available of, of, of the cuff, but they have a very good explanation of this. This is the educational part of the mouth show. You can see it's getting harder and harder. The seal we're making here. Ich spiele auch explizit nur eine Robbe, nicht am Eisbau rum, um zu wissen, ob es einen Unterschied macht. You can easily tell. I am explicitly only playing with the seal and not with the ice bear because I want to know if it causes a different outcome, gets us a different result. This is also crystallizing more and more. The other experiment I won't have time for. But I can take a look at the last experiment I prepared here. This is starting to dissolve. You have a few crystals in the bottom. I rühre jetzt einfach ein bisschen weiter, dass sich der Rest hier löst. I'm going to further stir to dissolve everything in here. The manual says something about 10 minutes, which doesn't seem to be fully accurate. 
unsere Regie hat kurz mal äh, eingegriffen und hat das Bild verbessert. That was simply a small camera problem. Ähm, man darf selbst niemals überrascht sein, wenn man auf einer Bühne ist. Das hat aber dann eher was von irgendeiner Live-Sendung, wo Dinge schief gehen. The presenter never should be surprised when you're on stage. Es wird auch während des laufenden Betriebs noch etwas verbessert, von daher... Ich habe es eigentlich gewohnt. Ich habe strong similarities to live shows. Or things go wrong. Fertig zu verfassen. Ja, das ist typical for chaos events. We just fix things last minute. Besonders wenn man den Vortrag dann nicht in einer Stunde... I saw people um, on stage preparing their, uh, creating their slides. If the talk is how to create a talk, that might be very, very useful. Uh, if you don't use PowerPoint, but something like LaTeX, you might even be able to write a talk during the talk. You can see it's dissolving quite nicely. Once this has fully dissolved, here you can see the rest. The liquid has crystallized. Even if I turn it around, it's not going to leak out. It's cold. Because this other kind did not cool down quickly enough for my liking. I'm going to try to make the experiment with this solution. This is just adding two spoons of tap water, which should give you the opposite reaction of what you are seeing here. I am not going to use tap water, but distilled water, because I don't trust the tap water, because the mineral contents can differ from city to city. The equivalency is two teaspoons are going to be about 10 milliliters of tap water, one teaspoon being about 5 milliliters. Because here I have about a tenth of the prepared crystals, I will only take out about one milliliter of water, which luckily I can measure easily. It's not that easy to see. I'll do it again for the camera. I have measurement indicators here. We'll wait for a moment. As you can see here, there's a measurement 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 3 milliliters. So we have a, full, a complete capacity of 3 milliliters. Therefore, you can get exactly 1 milliliter measured. So about one tenth is accurate. Eigentlich sollte sich jetzt dieses auskristallisierte im Wasser lösen. It's crystallized. Structure should dissolve in the water, which it isn't doing at the moment. But we're used to it. Not all experiments work very well when live on stage. I'll compare hand warmer and my self-made solution have about the same temperature. Nicht selbst gemacht, dann ist die Flüssigkeit ein bisschen gleichmäßiger auskristallisiert. Das liegt daran, dass ich so fast in this store bought hand warmer it crystallized a bit more uniformly. Also auch eine irgendeine E-Nummer. Ich kann nur gerade nicht sagen, welche. Which is because they use different components to make it a bit more homogenous. Not sure which 
element that is specifically. Before playing with this further, I'm going to put on a new glove. What is the beschleunigen can here? I'll see if I can speed up the process here. Man merkt, ich kann hier drauf tippen und das ist schon hart am Rand. Also in der Mitte bricht das noch am Rand. I can tap on it and it is already hardened out around the corners. In the middle it's still breaking apart. But in the corners you can see that it is starting to harden. Und hier beim Eisbären, auch wenn ich Slowly hier... but surely. Okay, jetzt habe ich es geschafft, reinzutimmen. Hier ist es auch schon, auch schon sehr stabil. The Eisbär? Oh, well, no, I managed to break it apart. It is already very solid. I'd say we can take a look at this overnight. Or tomorrow. Again, tomorrow I will show all the results of the experiments. I can say that the first blue and green liquid um, experiment has an interesting result. You can see the unicorns here. These crystals are already falling down again and they feel very soft. As soon as you squeeze down too hard, it already falls apart to something like dust. And it causes a bit of a mess, which I hope I don't have to clean up. What is your favorite experiment? I'd like to say the one with the bouncy bolt, because it actually worked out. But the one with the unicorns also worked, and they're cooler. So I'm going to pick that. And if you want to do it at home, if you build a custom version, you can do it with a shark. Yeah, we we might want to do that next time. So, lieber Erklärheit, bist du fertig für heute? Ja. Sehr gut. Dann vielen lieben Dank für die ganzen Erklärungen. Das war wieder sehr. So, dear explainer shark, are you done for today? Yes, I am. So, thanks a lot for explaining. Thanks for our great signal angel, who went in on short notice to bring us the live questions.